Now what we're going to do is look at some of the vocabulary involved with this. On your Cartesian plane, you have two lines called axes. This is the x-axis that goes across the side. And up here is the y-axis that goes up. Now, uh, I usually put arrows just on one end. They actually do belong on both ends. These go forever and ever in both directions. Um, along here, we have positive numbers. Positive 5, positive 10. Along here, we have our negative numbers. Negative 5, negative 10. Going up, we have positive and positive. And going down, we have negative and negative. Uh, a point is determined, first of all, by how far to the right you're going. So this would be plus 7. And then how far up and down? Okay, this would be, say, uh, plus 4. A point in this direction is going to be negative, first of all. So let's take this point right here. And it's negative 6, and then a plus 3. So, I assume you know how to plot points. These are called the coordinates of the point. And the first coordinate is called your x-coordinate, and your second coordinate is your y-coordinate. Okay, alphabetical order. Another little picture that's useful is this one. Your X coordinate, the first number, tells you how far sideways you go. Positive is to the right, negative to the left. Your second number tells you how far up and down you go. Positive is up and negative is down. So for instance, if I wanted to go to a point called negative three, negative six, I would start at my at the crosshairs here, go to negative three, so I go in the negative direction three, and negative six means I go down to negative six. So that's how a point is found there. This original point we call the origin, and its coordinates are zero zero. We also have four parts. We call this one the first quadrant. This one the second quadrant. This one here the third quadrant. And this one here the fourth quadrant. So we're, we're counting sort of counterclockwise. Like that. As a line comes through, this spot here, where the line crosses the x-axis, uh, for instance, in this case, it might be at uh, 7 across and 0 up. We call this the x-intercept, where it intercepts the x-axis. This point here, uh, which would be, say, 0 across and negative 8 down, we call the y-intercept, the spot where it crosses the y-axis. Okay, you'll notice a little pattern there that every time we have an intercept, we have the number 0 involved. Up here, the 0 in the y spot gives us the x-intercept. The 0 in the x spot gives us the y-intercept. So these are some of the vocabulary words that you're going to be, use, uh, be using in this section. Intercepts, quadrants, plotting a point, x-axis, y-axis, x-coordinates, y-coordinates, and origin.